I think. Can be used to treat insomnia. But we don't have insomnia. We could make a lot of coffee. There's nothing, nothing good though. It's maybe, maybe I should check like, because another, another thing here in this game is you gotta get good food, good quality food. Because I've seen how, how, how the benefits of getting like good health. You in, you get like, if you're really fucked, for example, your limbs are broken, your foot is mangled. But you're super healthy. You do some bandaging, some uh, disinfectant, and maybe even a splint, and you can literally heal yourself in two to th three days to max health with like good health. I'm not sure how it's calculated though, because there is like a vitamin deficiencies in this game. Which makes this even more difficult. I'm not sure if that's if that's part of the health system, or are the like vitamins just just there to prevent you from getting the like uh, diseases from the deficiencies, like scurvy or something. Because it's a, it's a value in the I, I checked the debug menu. It's an actual value from like zero to hundred or something no it's from it goes from negative to positive and you get positive traits when it's positive and negative when it's when it's negative well yeah that's that's all we can do for now Maybe this is a good gun. A double barrel shotgun. Actually no, it's it's not that good because we already have a a shotgun. At least we should have a shotgun. Anyways, enough dilly dallying. I think, uh, yeah, I have good health. Yeah, I think I could make more more bandages. That's the one thing I do, could do. Make some bandages. Drop them inside the car. Drop the cudgel as well. Oh, now I remember. I fucking remember. We can make a thing so we can uh, wear the wear. If the word, we can wear the actual shotgun we just made. So uh, there is this. What's it called? We could also make a suppressor. <laughs> I want to make a couple of suppressors, but before we, I get. Yeah, shoulder strap. This is what I wanted. So the the technique here is this. I'm gonna grab the shoulder straps, get the suppressors. Where is the suppressor? Yeah, 
get the suppressors and then I'm gonna use this as a gun mod on my Uzi. And the pipe rifle. Same thing with the suppressors. Yeah, the loudness is down from 80 to 50. But I think the... There is more dispersion on the actual firing. So it's a bit less... Accurate. It's actually a lot less accurate. <laughs> wow, that's actually not that good. Because it's it's from it goes from from three to two. It's it's slight. Ah, oh, yeah, I don't think it's worth. Maybe like a better suppressor would be better, but. Not the one I made. I do not like the stats on that. So we made this sandwich. We better eat them because they go bad super fast. So now we can actually wear the Uzi, the short bow and the rifle. Now this does make our torso a bit encumbered. So I have to remember to... Yeah, why am I wearing three different weapons? This is this is a, not a good idea. So now we are a lot less encumbered. Two guns, I think that's fine. No, actually, even with this, we can just... Uh, I think it fits into our backpack. Why am I wearing it? That makes no sense. The only thing that I should be wearing is the pipe rifle, because that doesn't fit. It doesn't fit anywhere. We a quarter staff time with the brawling fighting style and we're at melee level three almost four we're like bruce lee with this shit famous last words there is a wasp queen uh, she has been living on the east for a long time now. Right, but the but the thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop some pills and fight these motherfucking super cockroaches in this house. Not this one. Okay, there is some noises. Okay, there's a dog. Not anymore. So there is there is this super cockroach house. I think this zombie sees me. Yep. Yep, it does. So because we took two two sets of codeine, we don't give a shit about the enemy now. We can keep fighting even when our hands are literally turning into butter. So yeah, this is this is also where, where our companion died. Uh, there were up to like six plague vectors in this shit. 
I'm trying to lure like a couple of them up here. But they seem to be playing the game. Oh god! That place is filled with those fucking cockroaches. They are like... Oh my god. I think what I have to do is I have to run to this place. Close the door. And fucking pray to Jesus. Because I wasn't ex It's filled with those, sh those shits now. It's literally filled with those shits. I don't know what we're gonna do about that. But that is a that is a fucking problem. That is a cr big problem, to be honest. Because those are not fucking around those those cockroaches, those plague vectors, whatever they're called. I think there were like six of them in that basement. I don't know how to deal with that. Maybe we shouldn't. Because that's a strategy in this game as well. Goes down to, to death. Bug hell. Oh, that's uh, appropriate. Note. So this is off limits, and we can't even go through the road, because the road, if, they, if we like just walk past this place, the, the cockroaches will come from the house to the road and kill me, because they are faster, there are many of them, and they deal a lot of damage, they are more dangerous than wasps, those fucking plague vectors. So, and if we go to the north, there is a, there is a wasp. There is literally a, I have to put a note here. Do we have yellow? Wasp base. There's a wasp base there, or a hive. So we can't go here either, because there's the, the wasp queen is here. So this place is like... They have really cordoned off this area. It's like you can't go through this place at all. So now another option would be to go to the south. And go like... To the south and to the east. In that order. I think I'm going to drive my car a bit closer. I can't wait for the update when they make these cars not uh, be like this when you're driving sideways. Because zombies can... they can get through those gaps. But that is a problem if you're driving. You literally can't turn if you're trying to ram some zombies so I think this is good enough we can reverse to escape and uh, yeah let's continue we have the Uzi we have I think I'm gonna reload the Uzi wait I'm gonna unload Unload the Uzi, unload the magazine, reload the magazine, and reload the Uzi. Smart. Did we loot this house? I think we didn't. This is one of the houses we forgot to loot. It's a doctor's house, I think. No, we did loot it. It had food in the fridge, and it's... 
Maybe it's only like half looted because it has a coffee maker. <laughs> you usually don't see that stuff. The coffee maker is definitely the thing you want to see. Portable fire source, basically. Gallons of stuff and a hockey stick. Wait, hockey stick, is that a good weapon? Where is it? It is a weapon, but it's worse than the cudgel. And it's shorter than the quarter staff, so it's not a good weapon. Someone needs to go through all the weapons and try to balance them according to their crafting recipes. Because, come on. I have no reason to build anything other than a cudgel or a quarter <laughs> at this moment. The other, the other stuff are just too expensive to make and the rest are just bad but i guess that's the meta for for this season of cataclysm they might nerf it like tomorrow things go well Oh, that's rare. The actual wall has been broken. Must have been some super strong zombie then. Okay, four saves. I'm gonna mark this. This will be called panel on the left oh that's just that's what I'm typing because some people were asking me like uh, how did you open up this menu how did you do that so there you go at least I hope the hotkeys are the same it might be different due to my you know European keyboard but that's the reason for those that existing you can you can but I'm using the default ones it's mo it's basically for the viewers if they if they're using the default keys they can see what I'm doing and how am I how, how I'm doing because I, I, I when I was starting this game that was a problem I ran into a lot. I couldn't figure out the, the hotkeys. There were so many of them. It took me a really long time to understand. Understand that. super slow that was a dumb thing I did there I fought with like zero dodge three creeps no yeah don't fight when you are looting I'm still learning to not do that
So the quarter staff and the Uzi. That's that's all we need. Oh, this is a. Um, this is what's it called? I actually forgot the name. It's. I think it's uh, MSX. It's it's one of the default ones that comes with the game. The the default one that's enabled, I think, is Ultica. But I like this one too. I think they're both really good. What is this thing? It's a console. Okay. So I think this doctor's office is fully looted now. There seems to be nothing... Nothing else here. I do want to take the codeine. This is one of the best items in this game, probably. Go codeine. It makes your fighting a lot more efficient. Because you don't get the debuffs from the horrible pain. I've not found any tramadol. I think that's even stronger. But I'm I'm comparing it to um, to aspirin because aspirin has the negative health effect. I think that stacks a lot. But this just has the addiction. Not bad for you. Yeah, you could eat a lot of aspirin. But yeah, the, the health thing is questionable with that technique. I, I've stopped trying to do that now. Yeah, definitely. Addictions?
Oh yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that. I have a I have a hotkey for getting uh, for muting myself. So yeah, that cat apparently managed <laughs> managed to. Yeah, I muted myself. Accidentally. But yeah, that cat managed to almost kill me there. God damn. It like somehow attracted the horde. And then the horde like saw me. So they got a bit closer. The interactions in this game are just crazy sometimes. But I, I think that's pretty cool. That kind of like that can even happen, to be honest. Because I could have actually, you know, considered that as an opportunity or like a situation that could happen. Yeah, like exactly. Like it's not a surprise. I'm just not used to it. Yeah, I wasn't expecting the cat to instantly try to get me killed. Like, that cat was for my, like, out for my ass or something. Vendetta from a previous life or something. Who knows? Shotgun. Wait, we're super slow again. Did we just... Hold on, let me just... No, our dodge is 3.6. Never mind. Yeah, it just takes a lot, a lot of time. Uh, other than... Other than the... The stats through skills... It's it's vanilla. There, well, it's experimental, but yeah, pretty much vanilla. Because I'm still learning the game, to be honest. It's probably not a good idea to go for mod mods unless you're really, you know, experienced with the game. I'm not that at that point yet. I haven't even gotten to. Uh, I, I haven't even gotten so far in the game to get bionics or mutations. <laughs> so I think I, I, I think like when I've done everything, I could try that. Yeah, I played a couple of games of League and then I started to play CDDA because th this is more fun <laughs> than League easily. League is. Not fun. I don't know why I played, but... I don't hate mods. Like... Like with Minecraft I used to have like... A lot of mods. The problem is I get overwhelmed. I get so overwhelmed if they're like... Like mods that add stuff. Then I don't know that... If the stuff is intended or if it's just part of the mod yeah those games they are not not fun like if you can stay away from those games you should <laughs> but i think i have a slight addiction to that game uh, due to the ranked system because, to be honest, it feels super good when you win in that game. But it's so annoying to play it. Definition of addiction, I guess. And we're infected! Shit! I think we need to go to the base. So we don't have any antiseptics. Gonna do some classic backwards driving. 
and try this in real life. Fuck. That was not a good idea. Ah. <laughs> uh, that, that went a lot worse than I... The only car... ...on the road and I crashed into it. Oh damn it, don't drive backwards. The laziness got me there. Antiseptic. Boom. Good as new. And I just learned, or a while ago I learned, that you can actually heal your wounds. It, it They heal faster if you put antiseptic on it. I thought it was just for the infections. Crazy. Speaking of antiseptic, I probably should like put put them like um Oh wait, they're in this place. I should probably put them in one um container, because currently it's divided between like many of them. What is the biggest container? Can I do I have a, like a condom or something? That's a good container. A plastic bag. Okay, we got the plastic bag. I've heard of this uh, game, this uh, Hearts of Iron, or HOI4, but I've never gotten to play it yet. Maybe that's something I could try. You can get good containers dismantling water purifiers. Oh yeah, I think I tried this. Uh, there was one purifier on the roof of the evac shelter and I got like four of those 60 liter tanks I don't know maybe it's my OCD but I want I want the antiseptic to b have its own container because it's such a useful thing they're all filled with some some liquid Maybe I need to... Yeah, I could find a... I could actually go to the city. And disassemble some tanks. So I need a screwdriver for that, of course. And a hammer. So with this I can disassemble those things. Have a receptacle for my antiseptic. Yeah, that like Crusader Kings HO what's it called? HO I four. Like, I've never touched this um, game type before. I just never, it has never caught into my attention. But yeah, I think it's time to try this. So I've played a lot of different uh, games recently. For some reason. I've gotten adventurous. 
That's how I found CDDA, actually, because I was like, hmm, how could I find something that's very different from that exists currently? And yeah, I'd say this is this is very different. There has to be like a guide on YouTube to like what is the best uh, civilization civilization simulator? Is that the genre of the game? <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe that's close enough. Civilization Simulator. Yeah, there must be like a guide to like um, what games are out there that are in this in this genre. The only game that I've played that's even close to that is probably like Populous. Like this uh, weird shaman game where you build a town and try to beat your opponent. But that that's more to like StarCraft, now that I think about it. Best Lego survival. Nice. So yeah, what was it? Yeah, right. Get a find the, find the roof of a building and uh, disassemble uh, the the water container. But I somehow gotta get to the roof first. I don't think there's a good way. Do that at, lo at least not with these these buildings. No, there is an actual ladder to the roof. So yeah, I think I can just do this. Uh, disassemble. Butcher. Ball turning one. Of course, of course, you're missing something. We're dead tired. This is a, it's a bit dangerous because I'm, I think we are we are really bad for fighting if we're dead tired. Yeah, I think we're gonna go to sleep first. A lot of back and forth. Oops. The fuck did I just do there? Well, thank god the car didn't break, but... It's pretty stupid. There we go. Good as new. Stop the engine. And I think I really fucked up the car there. Uh, soon we have to find a new car. <laughs> or build something. Because this, this car is looking like... Like something you'd see on Craigslist. Right, so the, the turning thing, right? Bolt turning. Multi-tool, that's the thing. And then go to sleep, please. So who knows, I might play some, what's it called, Hearts of Iron 4 on stream, just for the heck of it, but not today, I'm, I've played a lot of games now. 
League after no CDD after League. It's a bit too much in one day. Or you know to do another game after that. Now that would be too much. Oh shit! Memories. Ooh, ooh, ooh. These are the these are the bad portal storm monsters. I think these even do damage. They're not just for you know small issues. Just sleep it, sleep it off. If you can't see them. Wait, what? Is it here? Was it inside the building? Oh shit, of course. There is a... There is one door that... I forgot to finish this door that's on the right. This is like a half-finished door, so they can just come in. That is fucked. Hold on. I need to think. So, what if I just um, grab this bed? You cannot grab the bed. Fuck, that is shit.
I think I did mute myself. I need to change that hotkey. Hold on, that is becoming a bit annoying. I think it's something. It's it's a it's a similar hotkey to what I'm using in DDA. TDDA to actually. Yeah, let me just get rid of that. That is. That is becoming a problem. As I was saying, yeah, uh, I've not played Dark Fortress. That could be something to consider. I've heard about it. It's a random, randomly generated. Yeah, OBS hotkey is super dangerous. But no worries, the hotkeys are fixed. Thanks to Arcantile. Arcan... How do you say it? Arcanali. Well, whatever you called. Thanks for the tip. Just, uh, that would have probably gone on, gone on for another 10 minutes. Respect. So anyways, the, the, the one thing... Arkenili. It's like melee. Arkenili. I think that's how you say it. Well, my name is not that easy to say either. Like what R60D. <laughs> but I've had it. That I've had this username for such a long time now that I can't change it. It's literally part of my uh, identity at this time. Good, so it's Arkenelli. I might I might miss misspeak it a couple of times. I'm really bad with names. But yeah, I think I'm gonna check out this uh, thing. This house. Yeah, there is a house. To the forest. Let's turn up those. What's it called? Headlights. You only have one of those working. But there is definitely something here. It's a bit dangerous to go. Oh, maybe I shouldn't drive. So I'll park it here. I'll turn off the headlights. I'll do some midnight exploring. I should have the health. I don't have a gun though. That's that's a mistake. Rookie mistake. You don't go exploring without a gun. Especially if you have one. I think it's quite obvious why not there are many monsters in this game that can just come up to you and kill you without blinking an eye if you have a Uzi things should be where is my Uzi <laughs> where did I leave it I think I used to have a Uzi oh it's on the bed of course I'm gonna use a map travel this time. We should have safe mode on. Things should be looking good. And there's a zapper zombie to the west. So it's directly where I'm supposed to go. Can I see it? Yeah, it's directly in this direction. Now that's usually a bad sign as zapper zombies. They never are really alone, are they? Mass grave. Oh, that makes sense. And there's a shed. There is stuff in this forest. But we gotta be careful.
got to be careful. Where is the shed? There it is. So there is a uh, nothing. It was one of these sheds. The ones filled with absolute nothing. So, okay, plan A, if we see a super strong zombie, super, super strong zombie, we can outrun it because they have zero visibility in this forest. Uh, plan B, if they're fast enough to catch us, then we just uh, unload our 32 bullets. And, you know, if that's not enough, hopefully this pipe rifle can finish them off. That's a lot, it's gonna do a lot more damage than my melee weapon. And hopefully that's enough preparation. For me to actually get the loot from this place. Okay, so here is here it is. This is our target for today or tonight. Seems to be completely vacant. And there is not much in terms of resources, at least not in the kitchen. But we, we got that food handling skill of 4, so we could be able to craft some stuff with this, these herbs and spices. Beef jerky is a good one, because you, have, you can make that with salt and raw meat, and it has a really long shell of life. So that was a that was a clean raid. There's not much here about scientists. Is that a good thing? I've never seen this one before. Famous last words. <laughs> like they say, cur curiosity kills the cat. But I must know. Well, there is this. Note, auto note of scientist corpses. It might be dangerous, or it could be a lot of loot. You never know with these notes, auto notes. I hope it's not like okay. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. I think I can kill one Migo. Because I have a fit I have one Utsi mag. That should be enough to kill at least one of those fuckers. But I shouldn't risk it. It's a bit foolish of me. Yeah, I think that's... Oh. 
Okay, a plot. I don't know why I heard a plot, but that doesn't sound good. A plot probably doesn't mean good. I've not heard that before, so... Maybe I'll check it from a distance in the morning. That sounds much more safer. Blobs. Oh god, I've heard... Wait, it's the spawning shit, right? I've, I've killed this before. This, this, the mold itself is actually pretty easy to kill. I should have the stamina to run away. If it is something else. And it's gone. No more plop. There's a zapper zombie. And there's a yeah, there's a a maybe mold, you were correct. There's only one of them. Shit. A zapper zombie. Going into darkness. You're not gonna spawn any fucking slimes on my watch. I've seen you lag games to a crawl. There we go, we got some slime samples. No idea what those are used for. Probably something useless. Or something more important. I'd... A shady zombie, well that's easy. I've dealt with those pa in the past. No idea why this, this uh, zapper zombie decided to head for the hills. But that works for me, I guess. Maybe I should just go... Yeah, I think this is where it ends. There's one brainless zombie. There's a fat zombie though. Let me lure the fat one first. And take his food. Chewing gum, in this case. Find the brainless one. No, the brainless one is gone. Yeah, I think that's it. There is nothing else. Yeah, there's nothing else here, to be honest. There's just... This house. I could check the mass grave, but I... Probably shouldn't. Yeah, I, I'll at least mark, mark this area. So it's uh, red... Looted. I can just auto walk back to the base. Or maybe I should do some more recon to the east or south. 
Because uh, this is a place where I'm gonna go have to go sooner, sooner or late, later. So might as well check it out while it's still fresh. So what is our dodging? It's 3.7. Our torso encumbrance is acceptable. A shocker zombie. Yeah, these are a lot more dangerous than I thought in my first encounter. <laughs> Not gonna make that mistake again. Okay, and there's multiple zombies, so let's Let's make some distance. Wait a while. Oh, two versus one. Easy clap. A computer, a USB drive, and nothing else. Thank God you can see these shocker zombies from a distance. Okay, how many are there? Okay, that's a lot. There's a boomer and a fat zombie there. Interesting. As a precaution, I'll drop my my backpack. As this increases our dodge to 4.8 and our torso encumbrance, it's it's gone. And in one codeine, just in case this turns into a fight. Probably not a good idea because our gun is in the in the backpack still. So it's it's not that clear to say this is safe or not. But it seems to be that there's something inside. Seems to be pretty safe. Maybe I'll check the other house while I'm here. Okay, downstairs. I hope to God it's not another bug house. Th that would be like the four fourth house infested with those uh, crickets or whatever it's cockroaches 